you uh, were dealing with today, especially uh, then the first uh, half we had was four and a bunch, and then three to kind of keep them at bay in the second half. But what, what was kind of going through your mind? Uh, you know, I was just taking what was there. Um, you know, I took them when they were there, and then the rest of the team stepped up the rest of the time. You know, we have great balance. And, you know, after Nebraska made their adjustments and started keying on me a little bit more, you know, Nikki Green, Mia Nixon, Ariel, Edwards, you know, then they took over. And that's the great thing about our team. But, you know, early on, I just took what, I, what was there. When you're shooting like that, do you feel like you can't do it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going through your mind? Just, just let it fly. Stroke yeah. Maggie, do you relish playing in environments like the one that you played in today? Yeah, this was, this was a great environment to play in. Uh, they just have a great basketball culture here. Um, it's just great to see, you know, that amount of fans come out and support women's basketball, you know, anywhere you go. Um, so it was it was a lot of fun to play today. George, what was your main concern about Nebraska coming in? I mean, what what makes them a challenge? Well, you know, they've got they've got two fantastic offensive players, and you know, Lindsey Moore and uh, Jordan Hooper. They can get their shot whenever they want to, and and they make tough plays, and they make big shots. Um, and, and they do a really good job of making their teammates better. Um, you know, they're very unselfish players. So um, biggest concern coming into this game was defending those two and, and making them, you know, have a tough shooting night. Um, the danger is you concentrate too much on those guys. Other people, you know, are capable of stepping up. And, and Katie is one of, the, one of the ones who's capable of stepping up and having a big night. And I thought she had some, some big plays and, and uh, getting to the basket and, and getting to the free throw line. Wore them down eventually. I know that your your goal is to have as many possessions as possible, so your athleticism eventually wins out. Do you feel like you had that tonight? That the pace was mostly your tempo in the second. Well, you know, Nebraska is a team that likes to play up tempo as well. So, you know, I don't know. I I, I can't say that our pace wore them down, um, but I, I just feel like the pace allowed us to get, um, you know, get some get some baskets in transition. Allowed us to to get some to to have things open up for us. Um, but Nebraska is a team that likes to run as well, man. Um, you know, and then you know Maggie Lucas is shooting the ball the way she's shooting it. Um, it doesn't really matter what the pace is. You know, it's just a, a fantastic luxury to have. Well, she kind of uncorked those in bunches. Well, I don't know about her, but every time she shoots it, I expect it to go in. So um, I'm always surprised when she actually misses a shot. Um, but I thought she did a great job of taking good open looks. She didn't. Um, she didn't take any bad shots. She didn't force any shots. She just um, found openings. Um, whether they were in the man or in the zone, she found openings. She took good looks, and you know when she gets good looks, uh, she's going to make a fair share of them. You guys have pretty definitively established yourself as the best team in this league for the last two years. What? How do you guys take the next step in the not only the Big Ten tournament but in the NCAA tournament? What What's left for you guys? To do? Well, I mean, I think you got to win in the NCAA tournament. I mean, you got to you got to play against the best teams um, in other conferences in the NCAA tournament, and you've got to be successful. Um, that's that's how you establish yourself as one of the nation's elite, and um, you know even within this conference, as you said, you, you know you gotta go. We gotta go to Chicago next weekend, and you know we've we've gotta handle our business there. Do you do you try to go there and I don't know, maybe this is a dumb question, but you go to try to go there and win it and go all out to win it? Absolutely. Or do you feel comfortable no, with your seat? No, 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 no. I want to win. We want to win every single game we play. So we're gonna do what we gotta do to win. There's no. You know, who knows? The world might end tomorrow. So I wanted, I wanted the world to end with me winning my last game. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you got a shot at a one seed, or is that? Do you know? I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I mean, it, it, really. The, the, the here's, here's what we know about the NCAA tournament. We don't get to play at home, so we're gonna have to go on somebody else's home court and win. That's what environments like this. That's why I love about playing in the Big Ten because we get to go on the road, and this is an NCAA tournament type atmosphere. So we know we, we know we're going to have to go on the road. We know we're going to have to play against somebody good. Um, so it doesn't matter whether you're a one seed, two seed, three seed. We're going to be on the road. We're going to play a good team, and we just got to show up and execute the game plan.